Well, my art making is, is I'm sure, much like every other artist. It's not any more special than anybody else. Right. Um, you know, although that image is made up of two objects that uh, one was uh, something that I had cast, the mm -hmm. other one, but from a, a prefabbed object, and the other one was a prefabbed object. And it's a very simple juxtaposition. I mean, there are only two things. Right. They're put together. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as, as it could get. Mm -hmm. Um, but my but process of creating really things yeah. is that in my studio I have many, many objects. And so all day long I'm putting, to, putting them together. In the same way that my paintings are a collage of mm -hmm. images, mm -hmm. although yeah. they're images that I have in my head or that mm -hmm. I borrow, mm -hmm. and I just feel that same, that same process is just the, the juxtaposition, putting things together and um, discovering meaning or um, I mean I know what, that those are, are loaded images and and when I put them together I can't say that oh I had thought of this idea and uh -huh. it came right to me I mean I literally was working in my studio and putting these things together but the um, what occurred was the recognition and that's what artists do and that's what we do well is we're able to see things right. in the same way that we can look at an object and if you have the skills which um, I think most good artists should <laughs> all you artists should have good drafting skills this is very very important as a foundation um, is that in the same way that you look at an object and you can draw it from life and create an accurate a depiction of life, um, that's, that ability to see is the same thing that you use when you take two objects and you put mm -hmm. them together. So, so your materials um, are kind of like a building block, like Legos. Many of them. I mean, I have a lot of different things, but in that particular case, that's what it was. I have yeah, lots of different types of objects that are things that I choose that right. I find an affinity for or that I merely look at them and I think that they're beautiful mm -hmm. or... Um, that uh, I can, uh, I have, there's some resonance with the with what they stand for, um, and in this case, you know, what I did recognize was um, the the beauty of the object itself. I mean, and these are both very beautiful objects, uh, whether you like guns or you don't. Um, uh, they are they are very beautifully made. I mean, they're quite interesting, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, just the the juxtaposition of the two was was truly it was very beautiful and at the same time what poured out of that was this meaning and and there's so much in that i personally no. you know i just make things and right. uh, it's interesting to me what people come up with come up with huh. yeah i mean that's uh have you heard I'm people not trying say to, that? Or? I'm not trying to lead them down any no, path or anything no. like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, um, um, that painting then, I mean, so is that a bunch of collected images that came together as one randomly in your brain? Those, the images in that painting, I mean, I've used a lot of religious and also uh, commercial, the, the road signs. Right. Uh, the images of the bee, bomb, bee, bee bombers, I mean, I've used that before. Um, you know, the all-seeing eye, things like, I, I have used those images before, um, but initially, and, and this is a really interesting thing, because again, when we spoke the other night, you gave me your, mm -hmm. what, what you were getting from that, sure. painting. and, and uh, you know, I, I don't have an agenda, you know, uh -huh. I don't, I, I wouldn't say I'm a political artist. Oh, you don't? Okay. No. Uh, I mean, I, I'm an artist, I just, I make things, and, and, uh, like everybody, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm affected by the world around me. Ah, oh, so you're just commenting on it? Or, like for me, when you're talking, I'm wondering, wondering as I'm, you're creating artists, uh -huh. what's the narrative that's going through my mind? Is it the news? Is it, do you know what I mean? Is there uh -huh. anything like that? Like this? Or do you get like a charge and you're like, I have to go to my studio right now, and then you just boom? You know, every time, you, you own this story. Yeah. You read a lot of artist statements. Absolutely. What do they all have in common? Because there is, I mean, I, uh -huh. I, I own Inferno Gallery, and, yeah. I, and, I, and, and also, I mean, I studied art for a long time, and, and I've had a lot of people come up and say, hey, well, you're reading my artist yeah. statement, I yeah. don't know what to write, and, but right. there's something that when you read them, they always all say the same thing. There's so, it, it's it almost, it, and I guess that's the true lesson. If you ever have to write an artist statement, <laughs> 
listen very closely because I'm gonna give you some very, very good advice. And they all say, I'm, I'm affected by the world around me. Uh, uh, it's my environment affects me. It's so obvious. It's, right. I, how could your environment not affect anything right. in your life? Right. You don't have to be an artist for that to happen. No, of course right. not. But but they all say that. They, yeah. they find different ways of saying sure. it, but it always says that. And it's nothing profound. <laughs> or, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, okay, that's... That was enlightening. Um, I mean, the, and it's true. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying. You know, I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying it's true. Right. It is true. We all. So we all are affected by it. It is exactly. You don't even have to yeah. say it. But I mean, I would think that's the beauty of an artist, or at least the translation that the, the artist takes the objective and internalizes it into the subjective and basically spews it out or channels it out on some level. It becomes like a filter. Exactly. Or what I'm doing. I, I really. And truly, I, I get great pleasure from making art. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, I mean, I love creating paintings and all kinds of things. Uh, it just, it, it gives me great pleasure. It's the one love that I've always had in my life. Um, however, the last eight years, the political environment in our country, mm -hmm. it, it, again, it's part of my environment. Yeah. I, I can't keep it out. Right. And, right. and it's really difficult. And we, we went through some really tough times. Mm -hmm. And when I started to make this piece, one of the things that I had been really affected by was this um, this landscape in our country where we had people moving very far to the right. Mm -hmm. And they were moving in such a direction that they were utilizing a lot of tools that were part of our history, of the world's history, that were tools of fascism, mm -hmm. Um, the whole idea of uh, any, you know, condemning any dissent by calling it unpatriotic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, by uh, asking people to be informants, mm -hmm. um, and by, um, you know, scapegoating people by calling them terrorists. Right. So, uh, to me, uh, the most basic um, group mm -hmm. in our country is the family. Right. You know, and, and it, it represents adults and children and our family unit and just where growth occurs. And, and so uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a portrait of the American family. Um, so there's a new climate. Do you think your work's going to change? Or are you, the veil's been lifted, right? Where's Gary Paul right now? Are you going to, do you think, are you creating right now? Is there a deep I am. shift? And, and I am. Uh, the, I'm. I'm working on some pieces that I had started before that again mm -hmm. are similar to this piece in that they reflect um, uh, things that are still part of our environment mm -hmm. um, and they're they're probably might be considered very strong images I think too but uh, I, I, you know I've always made paintings like this the question we always ask is um, what does art mean to you what does art mean to me mm -hmm. You know, uh, um, I, I I couldn't put that in in a sentence. I think. I, uh, what does it mean to me? What does it mean to anybody? I guess to me, it just means that it means language. Mm -hmm. And as an artist, uh, I enjoy engaging that language, and I enjoy looking at art. Um, uh -huh. I travel a lot, and I always make time to go to museums and galleries. And I don't care if I'm looking at artwork in some blue chip gallery or some schmo gallery or some outsider artist on the street uh, that experience I enjoy very very much so I guess if it had to mean anything to me I mean because art itself right. the different pieces have different meanings but art as a whole um, there's it means happiness to me because mm. um, I'm able to engage in um, a dialogue but with myself Right. and being inspired um, and discovering things.